you know, I've known people, we've all probably known some number of people that had appendicitis, their appendix burst. Sometimes people even die from this. Uh, it's not uncommon for people to have, to have their appendix removed. And the story I grew up with and that many of us did is that, again, it's a vestigial organ. It doesn't do anything. But, but let's just start with some basic gut anatomy. As we exit the stomach and get into the GI tract, what are some of the major parts there and where exactly does the appendix fit in anatomically? Well, so of course, when you exit the stomach, you know, you go into the small intestine and then the small intestine, you know, we've got different parts of the small intestine that differ a lot, you know, just by looking at them, you know, if you were a surgeon looking at them, you might not really be able to tell too much difference, but you've got different biochemical sort of processes going on and in the upper small intestine versus the lower small intestine. And then you get to a big junction where everything changes, really looks differently, and that's called the ileocecal valve, right? So you go from the jejunum to ileum, and then, which all sort of looks the same if you're a surgeon looking at it, but then you get into this big, you go from a small tube to a big tube, and you go from not many bacteria to a lot of bacteria in something called the cecum. And of course, in humans, we have a smaller cecum than in uh, what we call hindgut fermenters, right, which have a bigger cecum. And then a lot of times, sprout, it looks, it's almost exactly shaped like your little finger. Sprouting off of that cecum in humans is the, it's called vermiform or worm-like appendix. Hmm. And then that's kind of off to the side. And then the cecum leads into the, in humans, it's the ascending transverse, descending colon, then sigmoid colon. And each one of those sort of looks different. And, and we did a lot of work in the early days, this is the early 2000s just looking at how the bacteria interact with different parts of the colon differently. 